In this video, I'm gonna take you through how to make YouTube Shorts with AI quickly and easily. So there's three different methods that I'm gonna take you through with my favorite AI tool right now, which actually lets you create all three of these different ways. So that's the videos that are fully created by AI. So the script, the voiceover and on-screen elements. The second is by using your own footage and we use AI to help us edit and produce a YouTube short that way. And the third is using AI to repurpose existing content into shorts. So the magical tool that I'm showing you is Descript. And honestly, this is my favorite video creation tool right now. It's what I'm using to record this video, to edit this video, and even to upload it to YouTube. It's what we're using for all of our video content creation right now. And I love it so much that I actually reached out to Descript and they agreed to sponsor this video. And as part of that, they've actually given us a promo code so that you can actually trial their creator plan, which unlocks a lot of the core AI features that you don't get on the free or the trial version plan. So to unlock that, just grab our promo code, which is in the description and also in the pinned comment. And you can try that out for 30 days to see how insanely awesome it is for you. So this first method, as I said, we're gonna make a video from scratch with AI doing all the hard work for us. So I'm over here on Descript now, and I'm just using this in a web browser. So we don't even need to download and install their app. And on this main screen here, we can go ahead and we can make a new project. We've got some different presets here. So it asks you, what do you want to do? But we have these options here for AI video maker and create with an AI speaker. So we can watch AI make your video with voiceover and visuals, or we can actually have an AI avatar present your script and it will help you write the script too without the need to even record anything. And these two both do work very similar. We can switch between them as we go, but I'm gonna choose this one here, AI Video Maker. Let's hit generate. So then it asks us, how do we wanna get started here? Do we wanna upload an audio or a video file where it's going to cut things down and add B-roll and stuff for us? Or do we wanna generate a video from scratch with just a text prompt? So we give it some input as to what it is we wanna create but it goes off and does it? Or do we wanna paste in a full script and it'll help us build from there? We're gonna go just totally from scratch here. Let's generate from a prompt. So it says here, generate your video with a prompt, type any idea for a video. So I've got a YouTube short on top video recording tips. Let's go continue. It's generating a new project for us. So here we can assign an AI speaker. So the default here right now is Cedric, but we can play and listen to these and pick the voice that we want. Life is like a camera, just focus on what's important. So maybe we will go with Owen and select that. Now we can actually train up our own voice inside of Descript as well and have it read it out as if we were actually saying it too. I do cover that off in another video, which I'll link in the description box below. So at this point now we've got a speaker, we can assign an avatar to it. So if we wanna have an AI face presenting this and reading this out for us, then we can go ahead and pick one of these. Now these here are pretty cartoony, but again, we do have the ability to upload our own photo and have it speak as if it was us speaking it too. So for this one though, I'm just gonna pick no avatar. So we're just getting a voiceover with stuff shown on screen, but know that this is an option in here. We're then gonna choose continue. And here we get to choose our aspect ratio. So we're making a YouTube short. So we wanna make it a portrait video. And then for this to go off and generate B-roll for us or overlay footage for us, the stuff that's gonna show on screen, we get to choose if we want AI generated media or if we wanna actually pull stock media, so from stock footage sites. So in all my testing on this, the AI generated media is more of images that are shown that are then animated, so they're zoomed in and things. Whereas the stock media, we can actually pull in stock video files. And obviously that's at the time of recording this video right now. So I'm gonna choose stock media and that's gonna go find the clips for us. Let's hit continue. And the AI takes over, it says it's generating our speech here. It's gonna create our different scenes and looks. And it's gonna go ahead and find the stock footage to show in here. I love that you can actually see this building out in real time, like adding these scenes here. And it's just like the <laughs> amazing AI wizardry is going and doing its thing in the background. So I think that was around 30 seconds later, we get this prompt that your video is ready. Now we can export the video or we can jump in and edit the video, make changes to it. I'm gonna choose edit the video so we can preview and see what it's done. And let's come up here and hit play. Hey everyone, welcome back to our channel. Today we're diving into the top video recording tips that can help you create stunning videos every time. Whether you're a beginner or just looking to refine your skills, these tips are sure to elevate your videography game. Tip one, lighting. First things first, let's talk lighting. Good lighting can make or break your video. Always try to shoot in well-lit environments. 
Natural light is best, so position yourself near windows or outdoors when possible. Okay, this is pretty awesome. The B-roll that it's got definitely fits. A couple of little things with the script, and I would probably remove the, hey, everyone, welcome back to my channel. Like, let's remove this. We can just select it, and we can hit delete on the keyboard, and that is gone. We have the ability to edit the text here, so if we wanted just to say, top tips, we can just change it. The AI is gonna revoice that section for us, so it gets into it a bit quicker, makes it a bit more punchier. And with this first shot here, it kind of looks like this person was supposed to be talking, so we can just replace it. So we can just select the piece of footage here, and there is these little two arrows here that says replace media. So then we can go and choose a clip from the stock library here in Descript, or we can generate an image or something to show on there. Let's go add stock media. Let's try a shooting video. Let's see what comes up for this. And maybe we will pick this clip. Okay, so we now have, if we start playing this. Today we're diving into the top video recording tips that can help you create stunning videos every time. Pretty awesome. Now you can see this has also done the captions and everything here for us, but we have the ability to easily make changes to this. So if you wanted this bigger, we could scale it up. And you see that it's doing this here in real time. We can adjust the fonts, the sizing, the colors, all of this stuff. So then we wanna save this out. We can just come up here to export down to video and we choose local export, but you can see you can actually upload direct to YouTube from here as well. But if we go local export, we get to save that file out on our computer and then we can upload it wherever we'd like. And if you did wanna use your own voice in here, see where it says Owen at the top here, we can easily swap this out. So if I press on this, we can see I've got my voice in here as well, so we can switch to that. We also have the ability to create a new speaker, which is where you can train up your own AI, or we can even assign an avatar, so a talking head piece to this as well and bring that into the scene easily as well. So that was method number one. If we jump to number two, which is creating a video from our own video assets already. So we've shot everything and we just want Descript to pull that together and create something for us. Let's look at that. Again, we can choose here the AI video maker. We can choose generate. That's going to ask us how we want to treat this. So in this case here, we can upload a file because we've already got some footage that we shot and let's let the AI create something for us. So I'm gonna pick a video file here. All right, so that's uploading to Descript in the back end. It then asks us here, what do we wanna do with B-roll? So what type of content do we wanna create? Again, we're making a YouTube short, so we can switch it to portrait. It's then asking us, do we wanna use AI generated media or do we want stock media to fit this script? I'm gonna choose stock media and hit continue. You can see this actually editing our video in the back end. So that was raw footage that was widescreen. So it's already converting it into a portrait format for us. It's editing it, it's removing my bad takes, my mistakes, and it should get this very, very close. All right, so that took around a minute and a half. And it says here, your video is ready. We've cleaned up your audio. We've built out scenes and layouts. We've added visuals and B-roll and pulled it all together into a polished video. So let's choose edit your video. So let's take a look at this now. We can see that it's actually added some titles and things in, again, with no extra guidance as to what layouts or fonts or anything. If we scroll down here, you can see it's removed some things. It's gone through added extra scenes in here, different layouts. It's even added like chapter markers here, which is what I'm talking about at that point in the video. So I can already see that this isn't 100% perfect, that it's actually missed a retake here, but let's give it a play. You can have the world's best video, but if no one clicks on it, no one's going to see it. So you need to get your content clicked. And that's where your thumbnail image is super important. Okay, not bad. A couple of little things. If I look at the start of it here, that we've got our subtitles and we've got this full screen title here. And you can see that they're kind of clashing a little. Again, I haven't picked a layout. We do have options here for different layouts where we can really make this match our brand and all of that kind of stuff. Now what I can see here, if we look at this, I've started the video, you can have the world's best video, but if no one clicks on it, and then down this next paragraph, I've actually started it again. So the AI here, it removed a lot of stuff, but it didn't remove that bad take there. So we could just select it, we could remove it, or this feature here is out in beta right now and we can enable it up here under the app menu down to settings. And then we come down here to labs and you wanna make sure that you've got access here to the new Underlord beta. Also, if your timeline and everything looks a little bit different, I'm running the new timeline here. So you can activate that here. If we back out of this now, we can come up here to Underlord and we can tell it to only use the last take. 
So this is a prompt that we use here when we're editing videos like this to help us get to the end result much faster. I think that this works so well. So we ask the AI here, remove, and, but don't actually remove it, like don't delete it. I want to still be able to see what's been removed. So scratch it out from the script, all bad takes and mistakes. Do not cut sentences in half. Where there is a mistake, double up or retake. I want you to only use the final take or attempt in its entirety. The last take will always be the best one. So if we process that now, then that's gonna do another pass on our script and make those changes for us. Okay, that's done. And we can see straight away, it's done that. So our video now, you can have the world's best video. It's used the second one. Even this next one here. So to help you with this, this is all scratched out because here is where I actually say the best take. So to help you with this, you need to make your thumbnail. So this is so cool. And if we look at the different scenes and layouts and things it's created, there are some down here where it's even removed the background here to show off a graphic. So let's play this section. You also want to make sure that your thumbnail images look good small with so many people consuming. So it's gone off, it's found some relevant B-roll from their stock library. And really this video talking about thumbnail images and optimizing them and what you need to do to get your video clicked on, it's gonna be pretty hard for it, I would imagine, to go and find B-roll for this. So it's actually done a pretty good job. But I love that it's cut me out and it's changing up the layouts and things again with no extra guidance. And even the times where it is full screen me on the camera, it's actually centered it up. So if I have a look at the original here, let's come over here to project, let's open up this. This was the raw recording, five minutes, 16, and it's full widescreen video. So I love that this has automatically taken context as to what's actually happening in that video. It's even generated a title and everything for us here and chapter markers and done all the text, the titles, and even removed my background in some areas just to make it look like an engaging video. But unlike most tools that offer things like this, the level of customization for you to actually dive in and tailor this up easily without needing to be all or nothing, all AI, or you totally manually doing it yourself. It's a great amount of control that you can dive in and make changes, make adjustments to get what you need really, really fast. So that's option number two, using AI to create a video using your own footage and compiling it and putting it all together for you. The third option is repurposing content with AI. So I've got a project here now. This is a live stream from our YouTube channel where I was interviewing a good friend and mentor of ours, James Wedmore. And we can see just dropping it in here, it's gone ahead, it's detected when I'm speaking, it's detected when James is speaking. So we've, I love that straight out we've got the transcript and everything in here. Again, we could manually go through and piece something together, but with AI, why would we? So if we come over here to AI actions, we can then come down here. You can see that there's so many AI tools in here, but there's an option here to create clips. Viral bait while you wait. AI actions pick your most viral worthy moments and create clips that pop. So we select on this here. It then says, how many clips do you want to create? I mean, 20 is a lot. Let's aim for 10. And we can put a duration in here. I can put 60 seconds. And to me, this is more of a guideline because it'll create some shorter, some longer, but knowing that shorts and a lot of places now can go up to around three minutes. 60 seconds is, is what I found works pretty well here. And then we get to pick our layouts. So there's a bunch of templates and things in here, different looks you can create your own as well. I'm just gonna leave this here as default, but you can see that there's so many options. But what you can do here is you can give it some context. So you can say, Describe the goal, the criteria to find the best clip. So if you, if there was a specific topic that was covered in this video, then I could say, make me videos around that topic. But in this case, I'm just gonna leave it up to the AI and the Lord to see what it thinks are going to be good videos from this. So we can see very, very quickly, it's generated some clips for us. So this one here, 55 seconds long, this one 44, and it's given it a score here of five stars, five stars, 4.9. You can see there's so many different ones. It's actually given them a title, why your personal brand beats Bitcoin and gold. It's a pretty compelling title. Every problem has a solution, transform challenges into growth, but it's also got a description for each one of these clips as well. So we can then choose done, and this is gonna create them as sub timelines here. So we can see over here now under compositions, so our timelines in this project, we've now got each of those as separate videos that are in here. So if we just hit play on this now. There's no greater investment, not Bitcoin, not gold, and I love all those investments, um, that is a greater asset to you 
than you as a personal brand. Okay, solid message. So obviously the big elephant in the room here is that we're hearing James speak, but we're not seeing James speak. So it's scaled this up. Now, depending on how you've shot this, and whether it's multi-camera, multi-layer, like you're shooting a podcast or whatever, there's AI tools that will automatically adjust and to center up the person, the active speaker. So it can automatically do this for you. As this clip here was just a single layer end video, we still have the ability to hit the position here, we can choose fit the scene editor. So this way we're seeing the original here again now. And now we can just scale this up so that we're actually building out the look or the shot that we want. So we can scale this up to full size. We can move it across here so that we're actually seeing James where we want him. And then obviously we can scale up and down or change the position of our titles on screen here as well. So maybe we'll stretch this out a bit here. And if we play this now. There's no greater investment, not Bitcoin, not gold. And I love all those investments. Um, that is a greater asset. So for me, what I'd be doing here in this case, and what we've done for our business, is we just create these preset layouts where we have these templates made so we don't have to create them from scratch each time. So we might actually move the text down the bottom here and maybe crop this up a little bit. Like let's choose crop, let's bring the bottom up, even we could remove his name in this case and move our text to where we want it. We could put a background on that. We can really dial this into our branding and everything, save it as a layout. And next time we're creating these clips, we can just pick that and have that applied to all of our clips. And then to switch to the next one that it found for us, you can see we've got this next one here. And then we can go through and There's listen to that. There's a solution for every problem. There's an answer for every question out there. So from testing so many of these AI tools to automatically repurpose your content for you and to go and find the best takes, this is one of the best that I have used in terms of consistently finding good clips that you can then go and use in other places. So that's how easy and powerful it is to create YouTube shorts with AI. Now, if you wanna dive in deeper with Descript, check out the videos linked on screen. We've got deep dive tutorials. We've got some that dive deeper into the AI functionality. Don't forget to use our promo code, which is linked in the description box below and also in the pinned comment. And there's also a bunch of other resources down there to help you as well. I will see you in the next video.